please be seated. Now, Dr. Rob, would you like to um, introduce the cantata? All right, we're excited about it. One announcement that I neglected to make this morning, and I meant to, and so this was a good time to do it, was that we have someone helping us out, Miss Alicia Romich. And thank you for joining, uh, joining us and doing that today. <laughs> She's just, uh, she said she'd come and help us with the cantata, and we'd love to see more of it. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, this is uh, one of the most well-balanced cantatas I've, I've done in my 30-some years. It's a good balance between old, good old carols and then new sounding, uh, you might say, uh, uh, what, what would you call it, Christian rock, you know, that one piece, <coughs> and then some old folk songs, uh, some very sacred songs. It's just a good mixture of all of it. So we're, uh, we're happy to present to you Holy Child, and thank you again, Robert. came about. His mother Mary was estranged to marry Joseph, but before they married, she learned that she was with child by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because Mary's husband Joseph was a good man, he did not want to disgrace her in public, so he planned to divorce her secretly. While Joseph thought about these things, an angel of the Lord came to him in a dream. The angel 
said, Joseph, descendant of David, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife because the baby she carries is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son and you will name him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. My soul praises the Lord, my heart rejoices in God my Savior, because the powerful one has done great things for me. Let us praise the Lord, the God of Israel, because he has come to help his people and has given them freedom. He has given us a powerful Savior from the family of God's servant David. Through his holy prophets of long ago, he had promised to do this. <laughs> With the loving mercy of our God, a new day from heaven would dawn upon us.
time, Augustus Caesar sent out an order that all people in the countries under Roman rule must list their names in the register. And all went to their own towns to be registered. So Joseph left Nazareth, a town in Galilee, and went to the town of Bethlehem in Judea, known as the town of David. Joseph went there because he was from the family of David. Joseph registered his wife with Mary, to whom he was estranged, and was now with child. While they were in Bethlehem, the time came for Mary to have the baby. And she gave birth to her first son, and because there was no room left in the inn, she wrapped the baby with pieces of cloth and laid him in a box where animals are fed. some shepherds were in the fields nearby watching their sheep. An the angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord was shining around them. And they became very frightened. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I am bringing you good news that will be great joy to all of the people. Today your Savior was born in the town of David. He is Christ the Lord. This is how you will know him. You will find him wrapped in pieces of cloth, and he'll be lying in a feeding box where animals eat. Then a very large group of angels from heaven joined the first angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in heaven and on earth. Let there be peace among the people who please God. <laughs>
the town of Bethlehem in Judea during the time when Herod was king. When Jesus was born, some wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, and they asked, <coughs> Where is the baby who was born to the king of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. Then Herod the king had a secret meeting with the wise men and learned from them the exact time, the first that they had seen the star. And he sent the wise men to Bethlehem, saying, Look carefully for the child, and when you find him, come tell me, so that I can worship him too. And after the wise men heard the king, they left. And the star that they had seen in the east went before them until it stopped above the place where the child was. And when the wise men saw the star, they were filled with joy. And they came to the house where the child was and saw him with his mother, Mary. And they bowed down and worshipped him. And they opened their gifts and gave him treasures of gold, and frankincense, and mirth.
one can see God, but Jesus Christ is exactly like him. He ranks higher than everything that has ever been made, and through his power all things were made. Christ himself was like God in everything, but he did not think that being equal to God was something to be used for his own benefit. But he gave up his place with God and made himself nothing. He was born to be a man and because like a servant, and when he was living as a man, he humbled himself and was fully obedient to God, even when that caused his death, and that's death on a cross. So God raised him to the highest place. God made his name greater than every name, so that every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and bring glory to God Almighty.